guys, my name is Jarell Attack. Uh, welcome to the Missile Evasion tutorial. So before watching this video, I'd highly recommend watching the Countermeasures and Evasive Maneuvers video from V12 VR tutorials. Uh, this one's meant to be a build up on that. Uh, we have a lot of topics in this video. If you ever want to skip to one of them, I have timestamps in the description. Uh, these cover um, every single move that uh, I found on how to evade uh, missiles in VTOL VR. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Using cover is a simple but reliable way to defend against missiles. By putting something in between you and the radar missile, you break lock and the missile can't track you anymore. Similar thing for a heat seeking missile. Once you hide using a mountain, it can't pick up your signature. Okay, so here I got a lock on me. So I'm gonna start diving down behind this uh, little mountain there. And as soon as I uh, hide behind the mountain, the radar loses lock. This maneuver involves turning the plane at high G's on the seconds before the missile intercepts the plane. This move works really well with IR missiles too. First, you must lead the missile in a direction. This will burn some of its energy, making it easier to dodge the missile. On the last moments before intercept, kill power, put out the air brakes, dump flares or chaff, and pull hard. Around 9 G's. It is important to pull at the right time. If you pull too early, there will not be enough time to turn and you will be hit. If you pull too late, you will have lost too much energy and you'll be hit. So the missile got launched. Went pitbull. So I'm climbing, climbing, climbing. The afterburner on. And you don't see it on, but it's on the left here. So I invert. And I go down. Right, here's another example. In this case, I'm gonna lead it to the right. And at the last second, I'm gonna pull to the left really, really hard and evade the missile. Okay, uh, last example. I'm gonna lead it to the right as well here. And this time, I'll do a barrel roll. So uh, there's actually lots of uh, high G maneuvers you can do. Just the timing is important. The evasion moves for IR missiles in this video will be based on three situations. From the front, side, or back. All three require you to put the throttle to idle to reduce heat signature and spam flares. In situation 1 from the front, once the missile is fired, you do a barrel roll. Okay, he shot me. I'm gonna start doing the barrel roll and spam flares while I'm doing it. He shot me, at me again, so I'll do it again. In situation 2, when the missile is fired at your side, you invert and roll towards the bandit. Okay, he shot at me. He's at my right. I'm gonna invert almost completely. I'm gonna roll into him. In situation 3, from the back, turn into the missile and dive. Okay, got shot. I'm gonna turn to the right a little bit. Spam flares. Pause. Dive. Spam flares. Beaming is the act of putting the missile on your 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. The reason this works is because the missile must keep turning in order to hit you. This constant turning makes the missile bleed energy quickly. This is also made worse for the missile because it aims itself where it thinks you're going, otherwise known as lead pursuit. Right, so I got a lock on me. 
So I'm gonna start turning and beam it. I'm gonna move it to my nine o'clock. And I'm gonna put my nose down a little bit to gain more speed. I also have my burners on to increase speed as well. This will make the missile work harder as it tries to chase me. And there you could see it went pitbull, trying to chase me down. But it lost its energy. And the uh, missile is defeated. Drive down is a maneuver that also takes advantage of the missile's lead pursuit. In this case, we will attempt to make the missile crash onto the ground or water. Once the missile is on us, we will dive with full burner. Since the missile is predicting where we will be heading, this will cause the missile to turn and run a path into the ground or water. At the last second, pull up and save yourself. Okay, I'm being locked. Missile got launched, so I'm gonna start my dive. Dive straight into the ground, burner's on. You can see the missile also trying to dive as well. Keep doing it and pull up. Weaving is periodically turning left and right while running away from the missile. This drains the missile's energy rapidly because it must continuously change direction to intercept you. It also has to turn way more than the plane because it has to lead you, meaning it will use more energy. It is recommended to weave at nose down, doing 5G turns with burner to conserve as much energy as possible. Okay, missiles on me. I'm gonna start doing my turns. So just keep turning at 5Gs here. Turn right and turn left here. And at each turn, just uh, drop chaff. And just keep doing this while your nose is down so that you can uh, keep your speed. And you can see there the missile is working really hard, moving left and right trying to catch us. But uh, it bled all of its energy and we defeat the missile. Notching takes advantage of the radar's tracking by tricking the missile into thinking that the plane is part of the ground or water. To explain without getting too detailed, the radars filter out the ground by not tracking anything that is moving toward or away from them. To successfully notch, you must first be at a lower elevation than the radar source. Then, you beam the radar source. From the radar source's point of view, it will see you with the ground or water as the background. Once you beam, you are not moving toward or away from the radar source, and the radar will filter you out. Using the RWR to put the radar source at your side is really helpful for this. Okay, I'm being locked. I see the missile being uh, launched, so I'm gonna dive down here. I'm gonna put myself lower than the missile. And then now I'm gonna put the missile on the left of my RWR and just put a little chaff here and the lost lock. As you can see, the missile still has energy, so it's still flying, but it can't see me anymore because uh, of that notching. The technique shown in this video works well in conjunction with each other and the addition of high G maneuvers. You can perform as much as you need to defeat the missile, but remember to take note of your energy. Your energy is like a currency for these moves. If you lose too much, you will be vulnerable in the battle. Let's see some combos in action.
guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and learn a thing or two. Uh, just remember that uh, even though you have uh, all of these moves, it's not all the time that they're gonna work. So just make sure to uh, pick it up and try again. I wish you good luck out there. Once again, my name is Gerald Attack. See you later.